Hey everyone, how are you all? Welcome to the very first video of Learn with Just Robotics. In today's video, we're going to answer the question, what is robotics? So what is robotics? So basically, robotics is an interdisciplinary branch of engineering consisting of mechanical engineering, electronics engineering, computer science engineering, and information science engineering. Now the word robotics was first coined by Isaac Asimov way back in 1940 and Isaac Asimov formulated the three laws of robotics. Now let's take a look at the three laws of robotics. The first law of robotics states that a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Now let's take a look at the second law of robotics which states that a robot must follow the commands given by a human being follow that this command doesn't conflict with the first law of robotics the third law of robotics states that a robot must defend its own survival provided that it doesn't conflict with the first law and second law of robotics now since we are talking about robotics let's understand what is the actual meaning of a, a robot now the word robot comes from the Slavic word robota which means work or labor. So a robot is basically just a machine that can be programmed to do a complex series of actions. So you see every robot is a machine but every machine is not a robot. So there are three pillars of robotics that is sense, think and act. So if a machine can sense think and act only then it can be called as a robot so a machine can be only classified as a robot if it can sense think and act so now let's take a look at the three pillars of robotics in detail point number one sense now we human beings sense the environment around us with the help of sense organs However, a robot senses the environment around it with the help of sensors. Now, a robot utilizes sensors to gather the information about its environment. Point number two, think. We human beings think with the help of our brain. However, a robot processes the information and thinks with the help of microcontrollers and microprocessors. Now, point number three is act. Now, we human beings use the legs and arms for carrying out various actions. However, a robot uses motors and various other actuators for carrying out actions. Now, an actuator is basically just a machine that can convert energy from one form into another. In case of a robot, it converts energy from electrical energy into an actual mechanical movement. So, a machine can be classified as a robot only if it can sense, think and act at the same time. If it can only do one of these activities, it is not a robot, it's just a machine. So a robot can sense, think and act. Guys, if you really like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to enable the bell icon so that next time when we post a video, you will receive the notification. So I'll be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.